Hello, I'm, I'm Luis. I am the director of marketing at Distant Job and the host of the Distant Job podcast. Welcome to another episode of our Remote Leaders section. Today we're going to talk about the onboarding process for remote employees, their first week and their first project. In our last episode, we talked about how setting up everything before the employee's first day makes the onboarding process flow smoothly and gives them something to do right on their first day of work. Today, I'm going to talk about the software we use and the initial tasks I usually assign for the first week. I will also share some strategies to successfully onboard new employees and get them working on their first projects. As we mentioned before, Lots of managers tend to overlook the onboarding process. According to research, onboarding is often poorly performed by many organizations. On the other hand, research also shows that employees who go through good onboarding processes tend to contribute more quickly to the business. This is because they feel more confident about their tasks and their co-workers, and they also feel more integrated into the company culture. You can find the link to the relevant research below the video. So next time you think about onboarding, keep these strategies in mind. For project management, we use Basecamp. It's software that fits us because it's intuitive and an organized way to build our projects. With it, we assign tasks, set due dates, share files with the team, and we can also use the messaging feature to talk about things related to the project, although we do tend to use Slack channels for that. But there are other tools like Trello or Asana that have similar functionality. Choose the one that best fits your processes. Now then they head on to Basecamp and there's a checklist. We have a checklist in Basecamp. That checklist is subdivided into several tasks. So there's like a, the, the checklist as a culture tab where I tend to make it the first when I onboard someone. So they go through some culture building steps. This includes meeting some of the leadership, setting up meetings with the leadership, learning, uh, reading our guides on how we use the Slack channel, reading the guides of how you're expected to behave and what's expected of you when working in the market with the, in the marketing team, etc. Right. Then we have a second tab where it's about configuring tools, where we, we explain how they can configure and use the tools that they hopefully have already gotten them. And uh, after that, the, the next stage of the onboarding is projects. Now, I usually, for the first, I usually set a project for a week, right? I set, uh, I create in Basecamp a project that that person is going to be, to be handling for the first week. And this is usually a small scale marketing project, depending on that person's speciality and what they were hired for. But at the same time, in the first week, they're expected to be working on the onboarding task list with all of those separate tasks. So these are the steps that we at Distant Job take in order to provide a good onboarding experience. Our results match the conclusions in the research. Good onboarding impacts employee performance and retention. And with this, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed our content, like, comment, and subscribe for more.